Okay, here we go. Oh man. Took a little bit of setting up, but we are, you know, well OBS, not Balassi. <laughs> um, but OBS is willing to play along now, so here we go. Alright. Ultra settings, 1080 resolution, we'll see how that works. Uh, WASD, Q&E, hold on, I'm going to set this up to my own weird controls. AKA, the controls I use, are, the controls I, it's the controls I used to use when I was, you would know, I would use like a Mega Drive emulator, and then I just started using it in Robo Arena 2, and I use it every time now. I hope everyone's doing well, by the way, um, hopefully the audio's all fine. Um, it would be nice to have some more console, uh, robot games to be honest but you know it's just unfortunately um just not a thing it seems all right so this is first impression so i like i've seen little glimpses but i've tried to keep myself what i try to keep myself fairly blind when i go into this kind of thing just because i find it better for me if i just go kind of crazy okay so we got let's go through these so we got a hammer saw um called ankle biter interesting interesting we got a big deal slash crusty grab you know slash slam mo style grabber and lifter um you know called barricade <laughs> too bad giant gaming boxes are bad at gaming oh man we got bulldozer which is a whiplash style uh spinner lifter combo oh it's got tracks oh that's cool i like that a lot um, my scroll wheel's being a bit weird. Uh, we got this. Oh, it's a dual vertical spin. Okay, we are truly in video game territory. It's kind of Endgame inspired. Endgame, no, by force inspired, but with two spinners. It would be nice to see some of these on consoles, especially because, like, the SSDs on modern consoles are kind of crazy. Um,. We got a gigabyte inspired robot called Cosmic Terror. Oh, uh, this almost looks like a Hypno Disk inspired robot called Cyclops. I like that a lot. Um, Danger Zone, which is more Chronos, you know, ring spinner style, bite force squared. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, you're right on that one. Um, Executor is a. The brains on this, it's, oh my god, hold on, it's got two, so, like, it's got these weird double saws, which almost look like they're free saws in them, of themselves, it's got a wedge on the front, a wedge on the back, Executor might be the most Swiss Army knife looking robot I've ever seen. Oh my god. I, mean, I imagine... Okay, so my think, thinking is the reason that all these games come out on PC is because, like, typically these are, like, smaller studios where publishing on Steam is a lot cheaper than publishing on consoles a lot of the time. I don't think it's out of the... Plus, you've got to then have to develop for that console. So if Battlebots were to do it, I would expect them to go on console. But I imagine for these smaller studios, it's a lot more difficult... Um, but I'm hoping we do get to see something eventually, because, man, PC is getting a lot of crazy stuff. We got Gyro here. Ah, oh, it's hijink style, with a undercutting gigantic bar. A Deep Six style uh, robot in Heatwave. Oh, I might want to use Heatwave, honestly. Juicy Pepper. Oh, it's like a... Two oh, there's a lot going on with this one. Very interesting. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I totally get it. Night Fuel, which is like if Bronco and Banshee had a baby. Um, and then obviously Roblox, <laughs> the Roblox games sometimes become borderline unplayable when I stream them because I'm like, hello, enjoy 30,000 people joining at once. <laughs> Red Skull, a Tombstone style. It looks like Tombstone and Carbide had a baby there. No, wait. It looks like that one horizontal... It looks like Arena Cleaner. Oh, my God. From, like, that one Robot Wars special. Uh, Revolt is Blood Sports, basically. Uh, 
Um, shark but Oh my god. If only Finn was here. If only Finn was here to see this. Okay, we're going to have to hold Shark Bite off, see if Finn arrives. We'll, go to, we'll see that one later. Twister, a drum spinner. Right. Well, I am going to... What the heck? Okay. Except... Let's set some oppo let's set an opponent real quick. We will go... Oh, gosh, there's so many cool ideas here. I want to see Executor. It's so uh, insane. All right. Preset time. Right, let's... Next. Oh, here are the arenas. Oh, someone's... Oh, someone's been playing Robot Arena 2. Some of these feel very RA2 inspired. Like the school, I've seen that in like DSL before. The hexagon, the test facility. This feels very much like... Yeah, this definitely feels like someone who's like a little bit more familiar with the community. We'll go with the Battle RC one for now. Just because it's a traditional style arena. Um, I have no clue. From what I can tell, it I might have to familiarize myself with some CAD software to do that. Um, from what people have said, it's not as difficult as Robo Rumble 2, but this is for now is probably just going to be first impressions before I try to dive into something like that. So, if this is all good, then this will be far from the last uh, Battle RC stream. But, um... It's going to be interesting, that's all I can say. I'm going to assume that's a free-to-use sound effect. Um, oh, gosh. Okay. I. Because that's just the that was just the BattleBots buzzer there. Okay. Can we get up to speed? Oh, good God. Oh, no, we're on the kill saw. And the kill souls don't go down. Oh, I can see the damage. Look at that. There's actual damage here. A revert that spins down instead of up. I'm pretty sure that's what all the hammer saws try and do or something like that. Okay. This drum does not spin very fast. I'm getting no gyro here. Kind of disappointing, actually. Oh, man. You know, when I think about, like, the, there's, like, Robot Rumble 2, Pit Bots, and then, of course, there's all the updates to packs for Robot Arena 2. Safe to say, you know, of course, there's the Roblox games as well. Safe to say, like, in terms of options, at least if you're on PC, there's a lot of really cool uh, robot combat options. Oh, yeah, those are the screws. are like the ones from King of Bots. Good. Good call there. That's actually a really good... That's a really... That's like a good bit of notice, to be honest. Like, a good bit of notice. Jesus. Sorry, I'm focusing and I'm not great at speaking and focusing sometimes. But, like, that was a good a t bit of attention to... Oh, my God. Oh, God. This is a new game. I'll cut them a little bit of slack. Um... Oh, I got destroyed. No! So, how... Are we... Are we were close. We were close. But Executor definitely had our number there. Dang. Okay, main menu. We'll do another fight. To be honest, it's not that expensive. Like, for a... And Robot Rumble 2, I imagine, will cost money once it gets a full release. So, honestly, I'm, I'm not too bothered about the price. Oh, wrong one. I'm not too bothered about the price, just because I I can tell the game's probably going to end up costing a lot more in in time. Oh. Uh, no, no. How do I back out of this? Um, there we go. I want to control this uh, thing. There we go. That's actually my thought. I'm going to try and do a team fight. That could be interesting. 
Um, let's see. We will go... You know what? Big Vert. Big Vert team. There we go. Um, let me just double check how much it is. Uh, keep in mind, when I say the price, I'm saying it in, like, uh, British pounds. So you're... It's £3.39, which means it's probably roughly about 5 or $6 for you if you're in the US. Which, honestly, might not be too bad, depending on how this game goes in terms of, like, updates. Ah, oh, $4. Thank you, thank you. Three thirty nine is definitely more than $4, but I will, I will look past that for now. Um, I've already had my... I've, I, I've already griped to all my friends when it comes to price differences between the UK and the US. I have no clue, because this this is the computer I've been using for like nearly 10 years now, and it runs it fine. So, you're probably good. You're probably fine. Um, like, it doesn't... It's not as demanding as Robot Rumble 2, I'll say that much. Oh, gosh. Whoa! I gotta say, the sound design is pretty nice in this game. Like, I don't know how they've done it, but they make it... It does legitimately just sound like a... Like, it's... It sounds like... Like, like, one of those, like, live... Like, you know those, like, videos that BattleBots would post back in the day where there'd be no commentary? Um, because it was, like, one of the really bad matches that nobody cared about? It sounds like one of those... Oh gosh. Oh lordy, I went right into the screws with that one. Oh my god. Oh, we, we're, we're stuck. We're clipping. Oh no! Okay, so there's definitely some weird issues that need to be fixed. Because now we are one gigantic super heavyweight. The Pokemon BattleBots parody. I'm, I I briefly saw that you, that you linked something about like a Pokemon sleeping. I have not checked it out though. Um... Oh, gosh. Oh. Wait, Night Fuel. Oh, no! I'm on a dead robot! No! <laughs> you are kidding me! Right, is there a restart option? Oh, thank God. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about. Like, it sounds like one of the... This sounds like one of those fights. I'm sorry, the fact that the buzzer... That is definitely like, just straight up... The, that audio is straight up taken from BattleBots. Like, the timing and everything... That better be like a free to use audio because I feel like that could be that. I don't know. Like I'm a little bit worried for them if they start using stuff straight from BattleBots there. If it isn't, if it's something that is free to use, then that's perfectly fine. But I'm just a, uh, I'm just a bit nervous. Is all. Oh my god, we are being launched. Oh my god, Night Fuel, not again. I, 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 okay, okay. Right, we're gonna go to the main menu. We're gonna get rid of Night Fuel because it is glitching out like crazy. Right. Okay, we've learned something uh, that, that that needs to be fixed there. Um, let's see. Cat. And ankle biter versus. Um, I will look at building. Don't worry. Don't worry. I just want to have. I want to get a proper team fight in that isn't going to glitch out first. There we go. And right. Let's get in. Let's get a different arena. The. Test facility. That's oh wait. P okay, feel fully. Don't ask me what this cabin's for. Sh <laughs> sure. Doesn't it? Ah, oh, jeez. It's a good thing I've got two spinners then. Wait, what is going on? Oh shoot! I've said it's all to AI. Um. Oh god. <laughs> it's been eliminated. Oh, that's so funny. Oh god. Oh, good lord. I saw a camera, a photo mode. Hold on. Oh, okay, okay. Screenshot. Hey! That worked. 
quite well. Right. Oh god, I can't see. Okay, so it does, the spinner does go, but I'm guessing, like, because there are two weapon buttons, I'm guessing they haven't, like, uh... I'm going to test something real quick, hold on. So I'm assuming that they just haven't wired both buttons to it then properly. Let's just have a quick test, then we'll look into building. I just want to see what everyone's on about. It does, the AI needs to be better. Hmm. All right, let's see now. Oh, it does. It, okay, it works if you're playing as Ankle Biter, but I'm guessing the AI just doesn't know how to do this. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. There is a test arena, which uh, we'll be looking into that when we look into the building thing. Uh, Sajaris has also sent me a robot, so even if I don't figure out the building just yet, we do have an op. We do have another robot that we can throw into things. Oh, gosh. Okay. Oh, gosh. We are having a hard time. The oh! Self-right. There we go. You know, it's a saw blaze and more Megatron, which is uh, Jameson goes uh, beetle weight, if memory serves correct. Oh, gosh. Oh, nearly into the kill saw. Okay, we've turned into a death roll uh, vert here. Oh, okay. Hello, hello. We're trying out uh, this brand new robot combat game that came out recently. Well, there we go. <laughs> um, but called Battle RC. It's new on Steam. Um, and I, I try to check these things out when people point them in point me in their in the direction of them, so yeah. Um The presentation of everything is very nice, honestly. Like, if there's one thing the game has already got down, is the pr general presentation. It is very nice. It's already feels quite polished in that regard. Um uh, like, there's, I'm sure there's ways they can improve, but, like, there's not anything too crazy right here. Right, workshop. Here we go. Uh, so, okay. Welcome to the workshop. It seems like it's your first time here. This is a quick guide to help you start making your own bots. Let's start with the basics. Create bots for Battle RC. Utilize this amazing tool from Autodesk called Tinkercad. Create your own models there and import them here. Feel free to be as creative as you want. There are plenty of tutorials to get you started, and it's very easy to use. Once you create your model, select new bot in the drop down to the right. More tips will be given to help you along the way. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm definitely not tinkering with Tinkercad today, so. But that is very interesting, because obviously CAD software is something a lot of people use, even when especially when making real robots, so. Theoretically, Battle RC has given themselves a very interesting situation here, because. I know CAD software is also used for, like, the uh, Robo Arena 2 packs and whatnot. Um, so, like, that's... that's. Oh, my God, it's glitching out in the demo thing there. Um, as I was saying, um, that's actually kind of interesting, though, because, like, if they... You know, if you, know, if you look... Because, like, a lot of teams and even people in RE2 use CAD software when making particularly complex bots, and it seems like it would make it quite easy to bring them into this. I'm actually very interested by that. That's actually really cool. Right, um, we'll get another fight started. I do kind of wish we could have uh, four-way battles or like rumbles just in general, instead of just singles or team battles. Um, well, theoretically, they could design the CAD for their real robots, which a lot of teams already do, and then take that CAD for that real robot that they've built. And then puts it in this game. And it would be, from what I can gather, from what people have said, not too difficult to do, depending on the design. So yeah, basically, you're all generally right, uh, but, to be honest, which is a cool concept, honestly. 
Right, let's try Juicy Pepper. Um, what row will we throw in here? Let's throw Gyro in. And let's try a different arena. We'll try the Factory. That'll be nice if they can add Rumbles to the game. Especially because... Oh, okay, one thing I'd love them to do, they don't have to. If they just... I forgot to... Okay, I forgot to... I've got to make sure to switch it so that I can actually control the robots. Um, but, uh... You know, they don't have to do this, but, like, they could just do regular four rumbles like we've been seeing for the past few years, and that would be great. But I would love it. Like, love, love, love it if we could get them to add, like, rumbles where you can add even more robots than that. But I get that that might be a bit too much to ask, especially this early on. Right, uh, let me just fix... Oh, oh God damn it! Let me try this again. Right. Spot was made by... Oh! Look at that! You could actually... There's a credits thing as well. Okay, we'll have to look through that in a moment. Actually, hold on. Let's look through that. Online battles would be good as well. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's see. Red Skull, official modeler and supporter of the game. That's Red Skull. Um, this one is by Red Skull. Oh, Red Skull's been busy. Um, Cat is by Red Skull. Dang, Red Skull, you've been doing a lot. Oh my god, Red Skull. Okay, Blasfer, the creator of the game, made Cyclops. Um, Danger Zone, Red Skull again! Oh my god! Okay, Blasfer made Executor. Um, Gyro by Red Skull again! Oh my god. Heatwave by Red Skull. Juicy Pepper by Blasfer. Night Fuel by Blasfer. Okay. Okay, Blasfer's start. Yeah, you know, we're seeing more Blasfer. Oh, okay. Red Skull. I should have guessed Red Skull by Red Skull. Fair enough, fair enough. Revolt by Blasfer. Uh, Shark Bite by Red Skull. And Wister by Red Skull. Right. Good God, how did he have time to fight Captain America? A tournament mode would be pretty cool as well. Hey, and there's 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 Kiryu showing off the members-only emotes that you get access to if you hit that join button. Let's go. They do have a tournament mode. Oh, okay. Okay, we're going to check that out in a moment then. We're going to check that out in just a moment. We're going to play in the factory first. Um, but I will be sure to check that out in just a second because the tournament mode sounds fun. All right. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. We got flung there. Oh, whoa. Psychic forces from Gyro. Oh my God, Gyro. Okay. Uh, we got flung and Gyro hadn't even caught us with a bar at the f in one of those shots. We just got flung away. Crazy. Right, main menu. Let's have a look. Tournament. There it is. Oh, shoot. Okay, hold on. Oh, my God. You could... Okay. You could have a lot. Oh, my God. That's crazy. Okay, we're going to go with two rounds here. Because there's not enough robots to support that many. But, my God, that's cool. Wait. Random. Random. Okay. Okay. And we'll get grab cat real quick. Go! I hope everyone's doing well, by the way. it's This is a crazy game. Gyro and Execution are kind of OP. I can see that now. Oh! Oh, no. This is not as low as Bike Force. That's for sure. Okay. Oh, gosh. Okay. There's no real Gyro, which is the... Uh, thing that throws me off here, because now I'm upside down, I don't really have much of a choice on what to do, except just... Uh, Bulldozer? Are you okay? Um... The controls are also having a weird time. Oh gosh! When I'm upside down. Okay. Alright. Oh, Nice, nice, okay. 
That's it. Let's just keep going in with the damage. That's it. There we go. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. How many bots are there? Um, I actually haven't counted exactly, but there's enough for a starting point at least, which is good. Oh, look at that. Oh, okay. Um, okay, let me see. Is there a way I can change the camera? There we go. Because that camera was actually going to drive me crazy if I kept having to look at it for like that. Oh, into the screws. We are decimating Bulldozer right now. There we go. Going for some more damage. And look at that. The damage is very visually noticeable as well, which I always like in these games. Because I know like games like Robot Ar Arena 3 really screwed things up in the beginning with that. Oh. Um. A oh, hi, Craig. Oh, didn't expect to see you here. Um. As far as I can tell, it's just full speed all the time. Um, the Because I haven't got it... Because it doesn't support controllers, so there's no analog control. It's all buttons, so I think it's just on and off. Um, that's actually something that um, I might... Uh, they do have a server, so I might put that in feedback. Oh! Okay, we're going to see an AI battle now. The interesting thing, uh, by the way, Craig, is that this game, uh, its creative mode, basically uh, forces you to use a Tinkercad. So if you have any, like, it's, oh gosh. So people who make, like, CAD files in Tinkercad have found that they can just import, well, large, oh my god, oh my god. Red Skull was destroyed. No, you're, you're not kidding. You're not kidding. Oh, my God. Oh, my... Jeez. So, I can see what they were going for with the idea of bringing CADs in, because... Yeah, you could bring in a CAD of, like, a robot you've made in real life, or, in like, some of the Robot Arena 2 builders use CAD stuff. They could just bring it over into this, which is cool. Yeah, I did see something about that. I also heard, like, regular hammer bots just don't work properly at the moment. That's what, you know, so... Like, from what I can tell, hammer bots don't actually do proper damage at the moment. So that's why there's none in the game at this very time. So it's safe to say this is still very much... Yeah, it definitely needs some more updates to get it further along... I've had some people compare it to Robot Rumble 2, and I wouldn't say that it's... I, I wouldn't say... I'd say Robot Rumble 2's had definitely much more time to cook, so I wouldn't make that comparison just yet. Yeah, the physics are definitely the biggest weird part at the moment. Like, uh, there's definitely going to be a... Yeah, this is... Uh, yeah, like, I'm not going to get go too harsh. Like, I gave... If I give Robot Rum Arena free time, I'm going to give this game time to fix its issues. Um, these two are completely stuck. Um, is the game going to count them out at all? Okay, it looks like it's... Oh. Uh, okay, surely game, you can count them out at this point. Like, they are well and truly stuck. Oh yeah, yeah, it is April Fool's Day. I have no plans for April Fool's Day, though. I just want to... Because it's April, I'm trying to, like, post, you know, regular videos and stuff do regular streams this month because um, the 11th is my birthday so I'm trying to do like a special for uh, April um, so I've got no plans for April Fool's Day never do really um, okay these two are just going to do this for the rest of time it seems like okay um, this get maybe I'll res can I restart the fight no I cannot Juicy Pepper has finally been eliminated oh my god it took him long enough Okay, skip means fast forward. Right, fair enough. It's got the Robot Arena 2 problem where it doesn't quite know what a you know if a, if a if a robot is actually eliminated. So that's something they might that's another thing they might need to work on. Um, you know, I'm going to be fair, but I also you know they've mentioned that 
that you know in their, their own server that like there's no way for them to improve if they don't get feedback so we're gonna try and do a bit of both you know see what what we like and what we don't like um like craig brought up maybe having a little bit of analog control would be nice uh you know i know robot arena no well mm, robot arena 2's analog control isn't quite the same thing but uh you know that could be nice some analog control um Obviously, the physics can be improved with, would like, would, it'd be nice if those get improved over time, so we have less issues with uh, robots like Night Fury. Um, maybe we could, maybe we could see if we can avoid the, those Robot Arena Two situations where a robot is technically out, what well, tech robot is technically out, but the game doesn't realize it. Um, visually, I do very much like the game, like. Visually, presentation-wise, it's all very nice. Um, yeah, the ability to bring in CAD models is very interesting. As far as I know, it's the only way to bring in custom robots, which might be a little bit um, difficult for, ro for, for, for your average gamer to get into. But the fact that you could take... Oh, God, we're fighting our own clone. <laughs> Uh, but like the yeah, like the fact that, that like this, given that that is, wait, I think the game's on a whoopsie in the tournament mode. The game's on a whoopsie. Uh, as I was saying, yeah, given that I know that CADs are typically what builders use, that actually is a very interesting option and could lead to some very high quality custom builds. This seems like a game that, if it does well, could be like very uh, community driven so we're fighting ourselves because the game has actually had a heart attack I think um okay um did we win did we lose <laughs> I, <laughs> I don't know what's going on You could take any 3D object as long as that. Yeah, I've heard that at the very least, uh, the CAD software they want is fairly easy to approach. I've just never messed with that before. You woos or lun? <laughs> Honestly, that was so strange. Oh, cosmic terror! Oh, good god! I have a. I do ha have some. I have do have some. High hopes for this, honestly. Like, obviously, it, we're seeing it in its very beginning state. It's literally came out like a couple days ago, so it's still obviously going to be quite rough. But again, if they fix this and there's enough interest to import like different robots or you know whatnot with the CAD stuff, I think that's this could end up being a game with a lot of mileage, quite honestly. And I mentioned it before when Pitbots came out, but I love the fact that the big robot combat games right now are taking completely different approaches you know robot rumble 2 has been trying to go for a more like almost simulation i'd say uh, take um where it's which may be hard to get into but it's so um detailed and you know you can make all kinds of crazy stuff in it pitbots of course is, our, is the easiest one to get into um which is great for builders like myself who are not the brightest and this taking the cad software approach Oh, with stuff like, yeah, the scratch details and whatnot um, is very nice. Removable parts would be very good as well in due course if parts could break off. Especially because you get, like, a big, powerful spinner. I'd want to, like, if I made a giant, like, tombstone-style spinner, I'd want I'd want to be able to rip parts off. And it doesn't look like we can do that yet. Um, it looks like it's just scratch stuff for now. But that would definitely be something I'd like to see... In a future update. Okay. Oh, it's a rematch from the first fight when I was the drum spinner twister taking you on. <laughs> this time I'm not going down. Imagine beheading that full body spinner. What, like the uh, Tombstone Gigabyte fight? Oh my god, that'd be brutal. Also, I can't lie. When I saw when I saw Craig in the chat, all I was thinking was, "Oh my god! Imagine, I could all I could imagine was like the uh, the Danby robots in this game, like 
like Foxic slash Foxtrot, Apex, Slammo, like that would be so awesome. Um, it's oh god, it's stuck on the screws. Hold on, I'll free you. I'll f uh, I'm trying to free you. Yay, we're f you're free. Uh, how do you start a match? Um, it's it, it, it's quite easy, really. Like you pick, click to well, you click to pick a match. Then you click on the like the. Uh, actually, I'll show you in just a moment. Um, I do want to try and win this tournament. This very weirdly placed paced tournament. Um, oh god! I have hundreds of CAD models I could export to OBJ for download. Honestly, that would be so good. I, I've noticed, by the way, speaking of, like, parts, I've noticed, like, if the parts take damage, they do seemingly deform, which is kind of interesting. So, like, I see one of my forks is actually kind of messed up because I keep running into the kill source because I am so good at driving. I'm just the best driver. Um... Oh, Christ. Yeah, like, I'm... So there's definitely some interesting stuff here. When it comes to the damage. Um, first update and it's already better than Robot Arena 3 in terms of damage. That's for sure. Oh god. Oh man. Let's see. Okay. Oh there we go. A bit wonk but it's fine. <laughs> yeah for given that it's like the first time. Honestly. Um. You know, it, given that it's so early on, again, like, the, the wonkiness, you know, I'll, I may point out, but I'm not going to, like, lambast the game for that, because it's still so early on, they have they have time where they can fix it. Oh, good God. Um, so I'm not going to go crazy. Is my purple bot a lifter hammer or just... It's just a hammer. Um, oh, man. If I were to make this make Hell's Angel in this game, I would actually have to get familiarize myself with CAD software then, and see if I can finally. Well, that would get me, I guess, a little closer to trying to make it in real life. <laughs> so maybe sometime I'll maybe I'll finally make one in the next ten years. Make it in the next ten years. There's definitely some great options now. Dom should do a fuck it with this game when it starts getting more and more of a game. <laughs> uh, oh, def definitely. I am keeping stuff like this in mind and whatnot. Um, you know, I've got some plans for fuck it, the next couple of fuck it's, um, such as, you know, revisiting Robot Rumble 2. I'm glad that it showed a completely empty thing there. Um... Obviously, there's all those packs for Robot Arena 2 that keep getting updated, leaving lots of options there. Um, and stuff like Pitbots and Battle RC are definitely ones that I'm keeping in like in my in you know keeping in the back of my mind for as I watch them like progress. The other thing that I, I mentioned before that I definitely would like to see is I'd like to see these like vertical spinners do some gyro because like. Let's bring in the Twister again. Um, by the way, this is how you start a fight. Because I heard, I remember someone in the chat asked about that. Let's uh, let's pick Neon Grid. Emergency versus free shipping. Oh Jesus. Um. Okay. Oh, I for I said that to just AI. Hold on. This is the same problem I have with Robot Rumble Two, where I just forget to. S to specifically set that because I think I go with like Robot Arena 2 brain where I just assume that I've already picked for like a, unless I visually see something you know I usually just automatically assume I picked for a player um shark bite there we go neon grid and let's go that reminds me of one stream I need to sort out for the neck for uh, this week. Okay, um, actually, Shark Bite, back up for a second. So, as you can see, I can't actually gyro with uh, Twister or any of the verticals. So, that's not one thing that they still definitely need to fix when it comes to the physics. It's still very 
early on for the physics, admittedly, it seems. I think once they start adding stuff like gyroscopic forces, once they start adding in, like, being able to damage robots, I think that's going to help this game a lot. Because then, you know, there's going to be big moments, like, ripping bits off off, off of the opponent and whatnot. Ultra-strong magnets. <laughs> Twister's got that claw viper drive. I think another thing, of course, would be, like, a nice death hum when a spinner gets fast enough would be another nice touch. Because the sound design is otherwise quite nice, but there's no death hum for when, like, these spinners get, like... I guess there's kind of? I hear a, a hum, but it's not quite a death hum. <laughs> this simply takes place on a planet with higher gravity than Earth. Honestly, true. Um, it might... That's that's it really. That <laughs> poor shark bite. I don't know what it. Uh, it's clearly just a comedy bot, but I don't know what it could feasibly do in this situation. Is that shark Satrakian? Oh my god! It's it is beautiful, isn't it, Prism? Though if if this game had dent damage right now, those teeth would need to see a dentist. <laughs> Could you imagine a robot fight on the moon? I would love that, quite honestly. Oh, I definitely would... I definitely would... Um, I, I definitely will keep in mind making a feedback list on their server. Um, I remember I did the same thing back in the day, actually, when I was doing... When I would cover Robot Arena 3. Um, they had, like, a... Like, back, like, they had, like, a little forum on Steam, and I was like, okay, here are the things that I think could be improved. Here's new things that aren't in, uh, in Robot Arena 2, but I think would be really cool if you did add, given how much has happened in the time since Robot Arena 2 came out. Um, and unfortunately, I'm pretty sure none of what I said got added in the end. Uh, the game for, does have a Discord server. Actually, give me a second. I'm gonna link the Discord server real quick. Um, hold on. Let's see, where is it? Uh, Discord server, there it is, Battle RC, uh, invite people, copy, oh, let's see, there we, that should work, there you go, that's a link to the Battle RC, uh, Discord server. Oh, am I pressing, okay. Oh man, this is poor shark bites getting absolutely just just doesn't stand a chance really. I would definitely like um there's definitely some options when it comes to I I saw there was like a whole pit thing discussion as well. Um there would I definitely think there'd be some that be there's definitely some options if you want like pit like arenas. Let's see now. Average health left. Yeah, because cause poor Shark Bite couldn't do a thing. Oh, yeah, because Shark Bite, I'm pretty sure, is meant to be a comedy bot. So, yeah, it's not going to be the best robot in the game. And don't worry, Kai, and I will. Um, let's see. Let's get another team fight in. Unfortunately, I don't think. I don't know how much longer I'll be doing this stream, because obviously, until I can familiarize myself with CAD software. I just remembered something. Hold on. Hold on, everyone. Hold on. I just remembered Sajaris did send me a robot. <laughs> I'm so gl as I was thinking, oh god, how much more could I do? And then I remembered Sajaris uh, did come in with, you know, the ultimate helping hand here. Right, I'll just download that. How do I add these into the game? Um, manage, browse local files. Uh, bots, bots. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So Jaris did send me one robot, so um, we are good to go with one new robot. Right. I might have to restart the game. I don't know if it's gonna. Typically, you have to restart these games when doing something like this. But let's see if it pops up. Hey! Oh, there it is. Thermidor 2! And because obviously, because like Sajaris has been working on the Robot Wars mod, Sajaris has mentioned that the, they can bring in Robot Wars robots into the game. 
So let's give this a try. Um, all right. No preview available. That's fine by me. Oh, this is going to be good. By Team Lobster. Oh, I like that. I like that. Can you do Red Skull versus Twister? I'll keep that in mind, actually. Um, let me just try a Thermidor out real quick. Um, we'll go against Revolt. I don't think we've done much with Revolt yet. Oh, yeah. Ankle Bite does look like Season 3 Sword Blades. I remember thinking it looked like a Megatron. Lava? Okay, we got to see this. No, I didn't make Thermidor 2. This was this was given to me by Sajaris, you know, the person who makes the Robot Wars pack in Robo Arena 2. Because they work on that, they were also able to... Eh? Um... Huh. That's weird. Uh, okay. Um... Let's try a different arena. That was so weird. No, I went into screenshot mode to afterwards because I needed to see what was going on. Huh, that's weird. Yeah, Khan, I went to screen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. I think it only works in team mode. Some tweaks may be necessary. Honestly, probably. Right, let's uh, try in a different arena. Let's go... Uh, oh, I don't want to just keep doing the same arena, though. Anger? Nothing in anger for battle space bots. <laughs> so I swear this game is really... Like, the, having the exact same buzzer as battle bots. Oh, this is another situation, isn't it? Okay. Okay, we're learning some things here today. Honestly, I, I don't know what Charlie uses for the BattleBots pack, but, you know, if Charlie uses CAD software when making the models for the game, for the BattleBots pack, that would be possible. Or if, even if, like, the other teams got, like, interested enough to, uh, you know, try, you know, put their own robots in. Uh, let's go with just the Battle RC Arena, because we know that one works. That was like in the reboot, wasn't Okay. I'm going to assume Okay, so I okay, I don't think it's the arenas. I think what happened is because I imported a robot without restarting the game, it caused it to freak out. So I'm thinking that's what the glitch is. Um so I think we found what that glitch is. I think if you import a robot, you have to restart the game or it will freak out in its own unique way. Um, we, we're, we're about to find out, Sajaris. Thank you for bringing further door over. We're going to finally, now that I think I figured out uh, the problem, uh, we're going to get to try this out. Right. Here we go. Let's try this proper now. Further door two. There it is versus let's try a different robot because I don't want to like take this risk with that one let's try red skull all right next balasi here we go well wait is Fermin or just not okay right hold on I need to check I'm, I'm very confused now is it just Fermidor that's glitching the game right now? For me, like, I, I'm going to just throw in a random... Ha! Huh. Hi, Finn! Yeah, it doesn't seem to be working. It seems that Thermidor just won't work for whatever reason, which is very strange because it's just to just to get across. Like you can see that it does load it on like menus in the bot creator. It just won't load it when we're actually trying to fight with it. Also, Finn, gr great to see you here. Great to see you here. Like, I got to show you something. Oh yeah, it shows up in the edit mode, which is very weird. Yeah, Finn, Finn. Like, hold on, I got to sh I got to show you this. Shock bite. 
Right, let's just get a quick little a group battle in. Um, right. I haven't seen much of Revolt. We'll get to see Revolt properly now. Uh, what other rebels haven't we seen much of? There we go, Cyclops. And what was that other one that was by Cyclops? Danger Zone. There we go, some robots we haven't seen a lot of yet. And we'll do it in... The Zone. Technically some board lottery winner could build it. Alright, here we go. Oh my god. Twister versus Red Skull. I will try and remember to do that for the next fight. I just wanted to quickly show off Shark Bite more than anything else. Uh, sadly, Finn Shark Bite is 100% definitely a joke robot, so it can't actually do anything. My god. The bots are going flying right now. I love Steam Workshop abilities. That's the last step they need. Like, Okay, so they've got the CAD stuff, which you can only make in CAD for those who are new to the stream, which if you've got CADs for like robots, that's great. Especially like if you build, if you build a real life robot, it seems like it wouldn't be that difficult to bring the robot into the game. Um, I know Sajaris is bringing some of the cats that he, he's been working on for the Robot Wars pack into this game, which is great stuff. Um, if they add Steam Workshop support for that as well, that would make sharing the robots so much easier as well. That's a big, big thing, really. I would love to see that. Oh, my God. If there's a Red Skull here, why not make a Captain America? <laughs> True. Wait, is Sharkbite going to win? Oh my god, is Sharkbite going to win? <laughs> it's a Revolve Bloodsport Chronos and Hypno... <laughs> oh man. <gasps> Sharkbite was the only one alive! <laughs> yeah, Sharkbite! Oh my god, that's so cool. Online battle support would be another fun one as well, of course. That would make... If I did do a fuck it on this, that would make that so much easier as well. Um, Wow, okay. Right, was it like Twister versus Red Skull, I think, was asked for. Hold on. Let me see if I can find out again. Twister versus Red Skull. Let's let's do that. Twister versus Oh, I think I see what you're asking for. You're asking for a Minotaur versus Tombstone, basically. I would love to see people bringing in like like, like, more real robots. Like, Thermidor 2 is an amazing start, but I'd love to see, like, look, I, again, I saw Craig earlier, so I'm just thinking, like, Foxic, Foxic, Foxic in my brain. Um, I'd love to see, like, all kinds of, like, the fun real-life robots make it into this game, to be honest with you. Um, like, Minotaur, Tombstone, um, Carbide, like, uh, Behemoth would be a really fun one. Yes! <laughs> Thank you, Craig. <laughs> I feel like if we were to ask Craig what's happened, where is Foxic? I feel like we're, we've got a 50-50 chance of Craig giving us the actual answer or Craig saying that, it, that he took it out back. <laughs> uh, there we go. We got the act. We got we got the real answer. Honestly. Um. Best of luck to you, by the way, Craig, with uh, Slamo. I think I really like like what you're doing with the design, honestly. Um, and I think it could be really like I, I I'm I'm watching yeah you know, I'm I've been watching like the proving ground fights with Slamo in intently. Oh my god, Twister's getting decimated. Yeah, that was that was such a one-sided battle. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Um... On YouTube, the creators game have showed some stuff, even some reps like Banshee and oh, making a CAD right now. No idea what I'm doing. I think I'm making Little Drummer Boy accidentally so far. Oh my god! You want me to drive Twister versus Ankle Bite? I can do that. Yeah, give me a second. Um, I'm definitely not going to win because I, the very first fight I did was against the Hammersaw as Twister and it did not go well. Alright, let's see. Ankle Biter. Oh, got to set this to player controls. I keep forgetting to do that. 
The game loads very fast as well, by the way. Um, like, I gotta give the game that. I spent, like, I've spent so much time playing Robo Arena 2, which if you put enough parts in, will take like 50 years to load, that it's just nice to be able to have a game that doesn't take the rest of my life to start up. Oh god. Okay. Okay, we're getting... Oh gosh. Oh no. Oh gosh. Okay. Oh! 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 We got a chance here. We got a chance here. Every time I every time I decide that I'm gonna have a fight with Quantum in, in the Battlebots challenges, I always weep because while Charlie has made a newer version of Quantum that has less parts, that version can't be AI because of the parts in it. Um, so the AI version is still like the really long loading one. Oh yeah, yeah, it's a four dollar like l l yeah. Craig and uh, Shadow Rush both said yeah, it's it's about four dollars, it or three pounds thirty nine um, if you're in the UK. It's honestly though, like that's not bad for this for this game, even at this early state. Especially because it'll no doubt get updated into a better condition. Oh, that was the closest thing to Gyro we've had the entire game. Honestly, yeah, it is a nice, fair, pretty cheap price. Honestly, so I think that's a. So I, I have no personal issue with them pricing it like that. To be honest with you. Um, I know because we've gotten so used to the games being free lately, like so some people that might seem crazy, but like, no, no, I think it's perfectly reasonable for them to charge. The one quantum that weighs five trillion pounds. Oh, God. If it was made by the BattleBot show, it would be 39. Honestly, I would um, expect, like, if they do make a BattleBots game, I imagine that thing will probably be like... 50 60 dollars when it comes if that ever if a BattleBots game ever does get made which i know people have been asking them to do that for years now if they ever do then you know i'll be streaming that that's for sure um i do worry that if BattleBots ever does make a game there's the risk that there's going to be a slightly too high expectations on them given all the crazy like projects like this robot rumble 2 and whatnot um so i i the png 2 will seem to be taking a performance hit oh no um, but like, uh, I, I'd be worried that, I'd be worried that be, the expectations would be a bit hard to reach, given some of the crazy games that have been coming out, like, I wouldn't know how the BattleBots game, theoretically, would be able to live up to that. The, uh, BattleBots would have to be like, WWE, no breaks, just work on the game. <laughs> that's my chief concern like it would be no doubt more expensive and it would have to try and match up to robot rumble 2 and this and of course like the unkillable robot arena 2 which has been going on for over 20 years at this point it is still a lot of people's first choice um oh god please not microtransactions I would love still, don't get me wrong, I'd love to see a BattleBots video game. I just worry that it would come out and a lot of people would be very disappointed because they'd be expecting BattleBots to somehow one-up these projects being made by like a like very dedicated like hobbyists and whatnot who are like spending their spending a lot of their free time on making these types of games as good as they possibly can be. A BattleBots one and or robot was a mod pack for Beam NG. Oh yeah, I remember you saying that before. Honestly, that would that would be interesting. I imagine my computer would cry, like if that happened. Like if they if, <laughs> trying to run that. Like I could just imagine. Let's see. We're gonna have a battle of. Fist meeting face. Let's see, what's another hardy looking robot in this? Hmm. Yeah, I guess night fuel. There we go. Thirty two gigs of RAM? Oh god. Even with my um even with my weird RAM setup, that's not enough. Oh, jeez. Uh, oh, right, yes, of course. 
No worries, Kyan. Thank you for tuning in. Um, let's try... Let, let's do this in the, at the school. Just bits and pieces fly into the classroom. Yeah, I don't like live service uh, type things, honestly. It's not great. Oh, good God. Whoa! Oh my God! It's oh, thank you. That's for thank you for reminding me. I was trying to think like, isn't there wasn't there a spinner that like spun up at a school? And yeah, it was Frostbite in Robot Wars. I remember that. Oh man. Is it? Um, because on OBS it looks fine, but uh, hold on, let me see if I can uh, hold on, let me just let me check on. Oh god, it looks like it might actually be. I might... Okay, okay, it definitely seems like it is lagging. I don't know what's going on there. Because it's running fine. Hmm. Right, let's go... Let's maybe turn that down. We'll turn it all the way down to medium, actually. Just to make things like a little bit easier. And we'll check the workshop thing. I might have the video of Frostbite purely because I save, I've save, i saved so much robot combat content over the years. So I might have a look for that Frostbite thing in a second. Honestly, I feel like they meant... This seems like the kind of thing where they meant for this to be an early access thing, but just forgot, I guess. I have no idea. Um, a deep six that can change from a horizontal to a vertical on command. Let's see now. Edit. I'm going to regret doing this. Okay. Oh my god, look at this! I can finally control it! That's so weird. Look at this. I can finally control it. It just won't load in actual battle. There's a beetle in tenets. Okay, so there are some options then. There we go. Oh. Right, self right. There we go. Oh gosh. Oh. After doing this, would it load properly? Let's give it a try. Save and exit. Maybe now that we've seen it in test mode, saving and exiting might help it. Hold on, let's find out. Right. Let's see. Still no preview available, so that's a little disconcerting. Honestly, Beetle out of bots changed to Beetle Weights. <laughs> and I accidentally said Beetle Bots. There we go. We've got the sp what the spin-off would be. Right. Let's see. We'll go with Cyclops as our opponent. Battle RC. Let's see. Will it work? Let's see if it works. Oh my god, you just... We feel... Oh. Oh, thank you for pointing that out, that it might load properly now. Okay, so we found the fix. You have to look at the robot in edit mode and then save it, like, drive it for a bit, save and exit, and it's good to go. That's fixed everything. Oh my god. I remember back in the day, Robot Wars used to do multiple weight classes, like in the original series. Oh, gosh. Oh, oh, good God. Okay. Oh, God, we're getting thrown around now. Oh, look at this throwing. Oh, God, Cyclops can, can turn into an undercutter. Oh, jeez. Yeah, and the house robot just flattened those of them. 
Admittedly, I was thinking more about the uh, about the insect weight ones, but yeah, that is true. I forgot all about what happened to Micro Mute. Oh God, I remember that was like I remember the I swear the Mute team was like really annoyed about that because like Circular Lot just grabs Micro Mute, takes it over to Matilda's flywheel, and just hold it held it in place. That was brutal. Thermidor is eliminated. Is still in the arena. The game does have some weird like choices when it comes to uh, how it decides a robot is out or not. All right, I'll try that on Red Skull. Balbots did have different. Yeah, it's true. Actually, lightweight, middleweight, heavyweight, and super heavyweight. I was. You were in that fight with Micro Mute. Oh my god, I didn't even realize. <laughs> oh wow. Um. I can, I, I, you know, I can only imagine what it was like in the moment. Let's see now. Uh, have we tried the hexagon yet? Let's try that. Let's try that. All right. Yes, of course. Okay. Let's see. So the hexagon. Oh, I've. It's set with the AI. That's all. Oh, come on, AI. <laughs> Just had a proper this is Sparta moment there. Hmm. Imagine huge in this game. I. That would. Oh my God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I just want to have a look at something real quick. Let's see. Because uh, I'm, I just want to remind myself something real quick. Team B. Um. Ah yes, ah uh, yes, yes. I see giant so now. Uh, yeah. Okay. Don't know why I completely forgot about that. Let's see now. Let's just... I, I really like playing as... If I'm playing as spinner in a video game, I love playing like the ludicrously big ones, the Deep Six and uh, style ones. Let's see. Let's just have gigantic spinner fights here. Let's see. Um, Red Skull... Wait, did I pick Red Skull already? <laughs> okay, obviously not Red Skull again. Juicy Pepper, that was a giant spinner. And screw it, we'll pick the uh, Dual Hammer Saw one. When we can do Rumbles, this will be a much a fight I'll be looking forward to a lot more because then it'll just be spinners going everywhere. A full body hammer again. I wouldn't even know how a full body hammer would... I guess that would just be a thwackbot, wouldn't it? A full body hammer. Like, I'm actually trying to envision, like, a full body hammer now. Guess maybe Gabriel, if you want it to be like, like, oh gosh. Like the ant, wait, Jess. Oh! Yeah, that would. Wouldn't that be a thwackbot? But thicker. Oh god. Um, okay, there we go. Change that camera because it was driving me crazy. I think I'm changing with the numbers, but I could be like, I could be placeboing myself. I could be just doing that automatically. I think like the, I feel like like the TV shows tend to be a bit uh, uncertain on what to do when it comes to thwack bots because. Obviously, they want active weapon rules, so it kind of means means like most Thwackbots aren't going to have like much of an option, to be honest. You know, because you like like I know they have like Overkill as a showbot, but Overkill realistically would not be able to enter in a modern series of Battlebots. Oh gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, I think they should let one show up. I have thought that as well, to be honest. Like. Kind of like how, like, 
it would just be kind of nice to be honest because oh gosh there's clearly still a lot of people who are fond of whack pots you know i think of like overkill and stinger being the main uh situations of that Because of how competitive battle bots is, there would only be one person brave enough. True, to be honest. Oh my... Oh god. We broke... We've breached the wall! We've breached the wall! Everyone hit the deck! It's... <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that was crazy. Oh my god. Right. Hmm. Is there anything else we can... I, I, like, we've obviously exhausted the when it comes to the robots. I don't know if there's anything else we can do right now. I'll play around with uh, Night Fuel and on whatever arena we haven't used yet. Let's see. Warehouse, zone, cabin. Ooh, what's that down here? Simple. I don't remember this one. <laughs> You were thinking Apex moment, I was thinking like Roma Games moment. Oh gosh. Oh, I fired the flipper way too early. Oh no, that's the AI. Lava? Oh true, we didn't get the chance to try lava properly, did we? Let's get out of this simple arena. We we are not constructing a robot this see like this this stream because I, I need to familiarize myself with CAD software first before that's even an option. Um, and it, it's, I, like, I don't want this stream to become me learning how to CAD. Um, that would be, it, it wouldn't even be turn out bad. It just would turn out non-functional, which is actually worse. Right. Um, lava. Right. Okay. Oh, I shoot. I said it to AI, didn't I? Yes, I did. Oh, okay, come on, Night Fury. Yo! This is like the Orcs Wars arena. Uh, the last Orcs Wars arena um, was surround, like, had, like, in the in, in, in game, had, like, a lava field, which I thought was a nice touch, to be honest. There we go. <laughs> yeah, the AI new. Yeah, it's, uh, it's better than Robot Arena 2 AI, which would have just jumped right in. We definitely need a traditional Robot Wars Pit style arena, though. That would be a nice touch. Because then, you know, so far we got arenas that act more like sumo, where there's, like, pits around. We need one where the pit is, like, off to the side or in the middle or something like that. You wouldn't be able to cheese them as, no, I would not. <laughs> okay, I think we have seen everything that the game has to offer right now. Um, so... I think, like, I'm going to check one more thing, but I think we are essentially done now. We, I, I, I don't, you know, I think we are essentially done for today's stream. It, it was a shorter one, but, you know, we, we can only, we, you know, I'm not going to try and stretch this out to, like, a six-hour stream where we just see Twister for the 50,000th time. Um, it's definitely a game I want to revisit, though. I think this is, there's a lot of great potential here uh when it comes to that like it, it's a very fun game um a nine hour bionicle street oh good lord we will end on one thing though let me just see if i can make it work hold on all right I ha found the frostbite video. I ha it turns out I did in fact save the frostbite video. Um. Yeah. So this was a uh, Robert to find like series eight or nine, if memory serves correct. And yeah, the the whole problem was of course because yeah, this is there. You see one of like the students, I think, um, behind like that fence. That was the whole problem. That was the well, the main problem there. Um, I just, I, I, I just, I only have it purely because I tend to. I've got like an archive of like robot combat content if I need it for videos, and I just save everything I see. To be honest, 
think I have like. Oh, I have one more. That's like that. series nine. Thank you, Craig. Thank you. I do have like one more that's like this. This one, um, from Team Griffalo. I am like I, I, I'm not a builder, obviously, so I'm not gonna pretend I'm the expert opinion. But I am very generally, I'm very much of, of the opinion that you really shouldn't spin up if you're in the line of sight. I sometimes see different teams doing that. I'm always like. Ugh. Oh god! <laughs> this is a fun way to end the stream, giving Craig anxiety. Um, yeah, though, generally speaking, I don't think you should <laughs> do this, right? Okay, with that, um, with that, <laughs> with that, <laughs> with Craig getting a heart attack out of the way, they spun it up in the pits once. No! No, you are kidding me! Oh, no! Oh, that is... Oh, that's so bad. Oh, my God. Oh, jeez. I remember I saw a video once. There was someone who, like, in, like, some Beetle or Antweight event. Um, I don't remember who, Um, but I remember I saw, like, on Facebook, this person had been, like, constantly, like, getting having their weapon go whenever the doors were open to the arena, and they'd been told repeatedly, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. They did it again, and I think they were, like, disqualified or something like that. For the record, yeah, I, I, I've said it before in videos, for the love of God, if you make a robot, don't, you know, test your weapons safely. Like, because these things, even in, like, 150 grams, can kill you. Um, <laughs> so, like, I'm laughing, but genuinely, please be very careful. Wrong <laughs> there. There we go. Yeah, just try and play safe, okay, everyone? Um, the YouTube chat wasn't showing, so I'll just leave it like this. Yeah, an ant weight could kill you, honestly. And a heavyweight, um, like we saw with those two, are like 250 pounds. For the love of God, play, be safe, everyone, if you're going to build an actual robot. And with that, uh, PSA out of the way, um, I am going to call the stream here now because we've seen Battle RC through. I think there's a lot of uh, potential here. Obviously, there's a lot of stuff they need to work on, but it's still very early days. So I will keep an eye on this game, and we will most likely revisit it in the future after a few updates are out. But I'm going to keep an eye on it. And yeah, I am ex I am definitely excited to see what comes of this game. Thank you all for tuning in. Um, <laughs> and thank you, Craig, as well. It was interesting to see you here. Um, oh yeah, I'm going to try and see if I can build something, so I'm going to have to familiarise myself with uh, CAD software now. <laughs> Here we, so that'll be interesting. Maybe we'll finally see Hell's Angel in the game. Um, but yeah, thank you all once again for tuning in, and I'll see you all uh, very soon. Uh, well, I'll stream again tomorrow, so I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye, everyone!